So, hello. Um, in this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Scalar free in Reaper with uh, libraries you want on different yeah, MIDI tracks. So, um, the first that you can do is just drop your Scalar. That's usually what I do when I use this, so I will close this right now. And I sometimes call it a Scalar sketch or something. And oh, and I do the input to none right now because I don't want to use the keyboard. So um, when you want to use the keyboard, you have to activate it, of course. So I will do this now. And I will rescan or reset um, my MIDI devices. Scan again, and here we have it. So as you can see, you can hear my keyboard. So this is something you have to keep in mind. Um, by the way, I use the Ableton interface or the Ableton theme, um, our life beta free um, and customized my interface for Reaper. So it can look a little bit different um, to you, but let us open Scalar free. In Scalar free, I will, yeah, just take take something like that just for demonstration purposes i will don't create any good music now so do we have here our main track and usually we want to distribute those chords to different tracks and for that we deactivate this so we don't use this this is you can you can see it as um as a yeah chord track or something like that. So this is the chord track in Reaper for me via Scalar. So the second thing that we have to do is we need to create a new rhythm or something or a melody. What we can do, we can use a melody, something like, yeah, maybe that. And we also want to have a little bit of phrasing. Let us use this one. And maybe we can also take a bass or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe this one. I, t I hope it will not sound horrible. So uh, I will track it a little bit to the side and I will um, drop my, my template for strings. I usually use the um, BBC Symphony Orchestra and here I will activate the three articulation stuff, the MIDI randomization, humanization tools, and why do I have it two times here? Oh, wow. Something was odd here. Need to update this. So. Now it take a second. So here we have it. And yeah, it's the right instrument. And we can do the same for the cello. I will activate it. The violas. Violence two. Violence one. So I will save this because sometimes it's crashing. So I will call it test demo something. So, and I will not activate the reverb right now. Um, when I do this too quickly, it uh, can crash. Um, as a side note, which is really important, I think you can load Scalar as a separate um, process. That means you can do a right click on your VST 
and you can um, check the run as option. And usually it's automatic. That means scale free would consume the same resources as Reaper at the same time, mostly. I mean, Scalar needs to wait before Reaper has done their processes. And there's a second option, which is really straightforward. It's a separate process. That means the, the computer or Microsoft is splitting the resources between Reaper and Scalar. So you have a separate pass of processing which can run at the same time because uh, most people these days have a multi-threaded computer so this is really great for external plugins i usually do this for ara plugins and so on uh, no not for ara plugins but for plugins which also have an ara feature um, because it, they usually are really heavy in, in, in um, CPU consumption. So I will um, always use a separate process for Scalar so it runs fluent without um, all the issues you see um, when you have very big libraries and so on. So I will do this to the defaults. So, and how does it work? So, this is our um, core track. I deactivated um, the instrument right in here because we don't want to use it. We only want to use this, the melody, phrases, and bass. So, and when you click on these three dots, you can choose a MIDI channel. So, I will take second, third, and fourth. So, then what you need to do is you need to route this to your scalar setup. And for that, you have this routing option. So I will open this menu. Oh, yet again, I will open this menu and we want to receive. So we don't send, we want to receive. And I want to receive from scalar and where is it? Oh, my bad. So scalar and I want to uh, receive from channel two the melody. And we want to distribute it to all. So we want to have the input of MIDI two in violins one. And we do the same. So we can probably deactivate this. And I want to have the same here. So scalar to or we can also go the other direction right in here we can send those signals so we can also do the free the phrases to the violins too um yeah another one is the violas here we want the phrases too of course Uh, did I start it? But sometimes the the MIDI channels are glitching, so don't wonder. You only need to stop them. So the cellies go to four. As we, as you can see here, we go to celli channel four, and we do the basses also to four. And that should everything you need to do. So when I hit play here, DawSync is activated, right click on the play button. Um, you can get the drop down for activating the DawSync. You can just play, oh, it's a little bit, sorry. It's really loud, so. Minus 12 maybe roundabout and I will also drop my master chain so all those windows we will close all of them now so my multibar 
uh, moly band and we don't need the loudness in here so yet again i will take a look at scalar you can yeah you can start replay here or there it doesn't matter This was the issue. Um, yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, I also have to deactivate um, those replace for that those uh, channels. Of course, we don't want to have something here. We can also choose no instrument. So. We go back. Play. And now you see it's working. You see that the um, the, the double bass, the contra bass doesn't uh, has any sound and what you can do is um, you will um, yeah you can duplicate this track you can create a new one and just take a low one maybe this one and make sure and make sure um, that you are in the right range. Alternatively, what you can also do, um, instead of choosing channel five in my case, you can also transpose um, the 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 incoming signal. But yeah, I I do it this way, so you have a little bit of variation. Sometimes those bugs are really frustrating. So we will take channel four, five, and now it should work. Oh, my bad. I forgot it again. I, of course, need to deactivate the default piano. Um, when you do this quite often, the best thing you can do is you, you deinstallate um, Scalar Free, reinstallate it and choose no internal sounds. So you don't have any internal sounds, nothing will happen. Um, there is no felt piano and so on, but you have a re uh, a good playback right in here and you don't need to care about those settings this is usually um, the way I do this um, because um, yeah B before I re have recorded this tutorial I reinstalled the latest version 1.05 of scalar and yeah and don't and have unchecked it so can also do is um, what I really love about scalar free you can also do the completely yeah I, I think a better way of working um, you can just drop the chords right in here um, distribute it from here and 
yeah you have it it it's it's working better so you can drag and drop those um right in here so this is really that that's a much better way i think so you have your drafting session right in here and you can track those chords wherever you want it so you can duplicate it so and then you have the option oh, to pull it down or drop some articulation right in here so maybe maybe we can use the articulate now and here we'll use one flautato here consort just legato maybe a uh, collect no and here we have one flautato again oh wow course we have now a double signal and in that case all what you have to do is you deactivate this plugin you take it offline it will only use it will only use those um, MIDI signals here so otherwise you get the signal from scalar as well as your MIDI distributed to your instruments doesn't sound good so so um, that's everything you need to know about scalar and Reaper um, of course you can yeah do multiple other things too but this is the the way to yeah use scalar right now in this current version of scalar with the current functionality in Reaper or in any other DAW. So you only need to choose the channel and then you feed it from here with the route option um, to your specific MIDI channels. That's all what you have to do. So I hope it had helps you and leave a comment and a comment and yeah, have a great Eastern and bye.